Now we have to calculate uh, what uh, the sun, the, we know our geometry. <coughs> we have, we have uh, uh, each other with the sun, and we have to uh, cope with the absorptions that we have inside the atmosphere. Okay. Some good things. That, uh, some good thing to know is that uh, the atmosphere is a gray body. A black body. We'll see the equation of the black body at the end of this <coughs> series of uh, <coughs> lectures. But is and uh, uh, the black body uh, uh, turns back, sends back energy according to the Stefan Boltzmann law that we will see later if you don't mind what it is, but essentially is uh, that uh, the whole energy by a body of temperature T is uh, proportional to the constant of the Boltzmann, co Stefan Boltzmann constant uh, for the times the temperature to the fourth power and the temperature is me measured in Kelvin degrees. The, the, uh, the proportionality is given by uh, the emissivity of the body. And if emissivity is one, we say that the, the body is a black body. It reflects back exactly what, uh, what he, he received according to, to, uh, to all the... Uh, uh, yeah, he sent back and uh, absorb its radiation and send back. A gray body is a, a body that doesn't have epsilon, <coughs> epsilon equal to one. But here we will see why uh, epsilon is not uh, uh, equal to one because the, the atmosphere is absorbing uh, in a lot of uh, uh, wavelength. In particular, here you have the wavelength between 0, uh, zero 2 to 70 micro, uh, micrometers, and we have the visible, which is here. Uh, not surprising in the visible, that is almost not absorption from the atmosphere. That the, we say the visible light is visible because the atmosphere is not stopping it. Is off. So obvious, but at the same time, so surprising <laughs> to think about it. this thing, because it put us in a, in a little different uh, perspective. As you see here, there is a big absorption in the ultraviolet. If the atmosphere uh, would not be like that, we will not probably here to talk about, to, to reflect on the atmosphere itself, because uh, ultraviolet, <laughs> Uh, radiation is strong and so uh, life probably could not have formed it in the way we, we know. We have a lot of, uh, uh, of subsequent absorptions in the, in the uh, near infrared and uh, as you see the main absorber is uh, the, um, the water vapor and uh, you, you can think that here we have uh, clouds. What does it mean? It means that the radiation coming in the, um, in the visible part, uh, then it is not transmitted back if uh, we have, for instance, a lot of water vapor or a lot of, uh, yeah, a, of carbon dioxide in the, in the atmosphere. In the, uh, this is uh, much more emphasized in the, in the longer wavelength, the microwave. Not surprising, our microwave heat, heat our food uh, because uh, il, uh, water is, uh, uh, the molecules of water are excited by radiation on that uh, wavelength. So when we heat with microwave any food, the water in the food in the food is uh, heated heated inside. It, all of it is quantum mechanics actually. For who believes that quantum mechanics is not around, <coughs> is everywhere instead. And uh, we have a total absorption of scattering. So uh, this is the uh, uh, the uh, the. Over
overview of what happens when radiation comes in. And obviously we can uh, describe this uh, very much carefully with, a diff with quite a complicated physics if you want, the physics of the scattering. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, three words are important for us in this case. One is the, the, the light is transmitted, reflected, and scattered. Scattered means diffuse. So, uh, as you see here, we have uh, uh, sun, uh, mm, the sun S with the arrow, up arrow, and S down arrow. And uh, uh, S up arrow R means S uh, up arrow reflected, meaning that uh, yes, we have okay the solar radiation coming in the visible. That is a window where the uh, atmosphere is penetrated by by the radiation. But when uh, radiation hits here, it is reflected back for a certain. Uh, in a certain part, of which is called, uh, our friends uh, in remote sensing call uh, uh, albedo sometimes, or someone was doing some studies of snow albedo there. And uh, so that's a part of uh, the energy is essentially lost if we want. But it's not lost because we use, for instance, for satellites to, to see what what is, and we see also with our highs any days, with the remote, the remote sensing of our, uh, uh, of our highs. Then uh, S0 is the quantity that we calculated before, and we consider the red part here, which is more or less the, um, the volume, <coughs> the control section we have. We are always doing budgets. So the first thing to do a budget is to take a control volume and see what goes in, what is going on, out, and what is transforming inside. So here we arrive with a transmitted part. Uh, sometimes we, for, uh, we forget that, or we, that uh, uh, radiation is a, a, a part of the energy budget, and we have a radiation budget, actually. And uh, uh, we have the incoming solar radiation equals uh, the reflected one plus the absorbed pl plus the transmitted, where in the control section, the just I depicted there, which is the, the one, if you want, was signed in red here. Okay. There is part of the radiation which is absorbed in the, uh, the what does the radiation which is absorbed usually heat heat the system the the, the air but uh, as we see that in the visible there is uh, almost no absorption so the atmosphere is not heated from above from the sun is it a pro as we, see, we will see from below. And uh, this absorbed radiation is what we are talking about. This is a radiation budget, actually. This is a corrected solar constant. The solar radiation reflected back to space. The transmitted radiation and the absorbed radiation by the atmosphere. So, uh, uh, we could uh, we can define some coefficients. Uh, we say the transmissivity coefficient. Uh, we say the uh, the relation between the uh, and downwelling solar uh, um, short wave short solar radiation <coughs> divided by the total radiation, which is the first on top. And uh, we have a refle uh, the reflectivity, which is the ratio between the reflected between the total radiation. And we call it albedo sometimes, and uh, we have uh, the remaining part is the absorptivity. Uh, because uh, uh, in, in first approximation, uh, radiation is preserved here, at least in the atmosphere, and uh, 
then radiation is not, uh, uh, is not preserved in other places where radiation is uh, absorbed and produced it is transformed into other types of energy, of energy, like chemical energy in plants, for instance. So the three uh, coefficients there are equal to one. Just substituting this one in the definition, and you see that the, the three are equal to, to one. Uh, we forget for the moment the albedo back. Uh, uh, later on it will be split uh, anyway into parts, the one reflected by clouds and the one uh, and uh, diffusion and, and the one part which is called diffuse radiation. Uh, in first approximation we can throw away the absorbed part in the short wave because of uh, the very first thing that I showed you before, which is this one, almost no absorption here. Okay. <coughs> okay. The other way we treat radiation is that okay, we just uh, we are not used to to simplify the to, to simplify too much the things. Uh, you know, where is the sun now here? You go out, you look at the you look outside and don't see the sun. Mm -hmm. But we are in light. Why we are in light? We can, because we we have diffuse radiation. We are not direct radiation. So the first thing we, we do is to we uh, separate the radiation into two parts. One is the direct radiation, which is called the S down, and D down, which is the uh, diffuse solar radiation. Uh, for symmetry, also the part that goes out is is, is the same. Uh, 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 it is uh, uh, decomposed in the, in the same two parts. So there is a law, it, 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 the thing uh, uh, grows, grows a little bit confusing because we are multiplying the definition of the things, but at the end it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, why we have diffuse radiation? Because actually the sun is hitting the molecules of, um, of our atmosphere on the on the top of the atmosphere, and those mo uh, models absorb the light and re emit the light in, in a different direction, which is called diffuse radiation. Actually, they uh, emit the, this la diffuse radiation isotropically, usually. And, uh, and so we observe this, that we call it light seems to come from everywhere. There is not a single point, single direction. Actually, this is not completely true, but because even if you look at the, observe the, uh, the sky, there is some part that are a little bit more, um, in more uh, light, that, that have more light, so, so it's not completely uh, true that thing. Uh, at the same time, we observe that the sky is blue. What a wonderful word. Like uh, <laughs> the sky is blue uh, because uh, uh, the, the, there is a, a trade-off between the composition of the uh, on the wavelength of the solar radiation, which is in certain wavelength preferable to, due to its temperature, the, of the temperature of sun surface, and uh, the way this light is scattered by the atmosphere, mo mostly. The blue light is scattered, so we see this, uh, the, the, um, the, the, uh, the sky as blue. We have two types of scattering, more or less uh, uh, compared to the molecules of, of, of water and the, the air. Uh, uh, we have uh, uh, light which is of longer wavelength and shorter wavelength. 
usually the light is shorter than the molecules. So we have Riley scattering, the other one is called my, me, me scattering. And uh, the Riley scattering uh, has a law of, for describing uh, the, uh, the, 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 the effect of the scattering, which is going to the uh, wavelength to the minus uh, four type of annihilation. And uh, uh, sometimes when uh, the, 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 there are other diffuse type of scattering, so we have diffuse light. Different. Uh, uh, obviously, the selection of light is not always the same when we we are on the um, uh, on down uh, on at the beginning of the day or the end of the day. The, 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 sun, the uh, sunlight has to, to cross more atmosphere. In this case, at um, Altramonto, don't remember the, 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 the sunset. Sun, uh, the sunset, okay. The uh, sunset boulevard. <laughs> at the sunset, we have uh, more a red sky for this uh, selective. Uh, Action of the of the of the scattering. All uh, essentially, when the sun we have uh, on the sunset, uh, the sun uh, uh, light uh, uh, across much longer <coughs> path across the atmosphere. So all the, the light uh, uh, is uh, scattered away except the red light. Essentially, is the same. Uh, uh, the direct light remains red because the blue light is uh, all scattered away. Uh, okay, this is uh, um, the way we uh, hydrologists take into account for uh, uh, these absorptions is to. Uh, uh, to introduce a, a, simple, a single parameter, which is atmospheric transmissivity, and sometimes it's a global one. A photographer would say panchromatic, uh, meaning that <coughs> not doesn't distinguish uh, between the wavelengths, but obviously is dependent on wavelengths. And uh, also is uh, depending on also on clouds that we have. So uh, finally, we obtain a, a after tra uh, transmission a, a solar radiation which is given uh, with this as big arrow round, which is uh, uh, a C1, a certain constant, the S, big, big S solar, which is uh, the corrected constant uh, solar radiation corrected through the cosinus of. Uh, what we said before, the sinus the, of the angle between the solar angle and the place where we are, we take into account of declination, our angle, and uh, latitude. And we have transmissivity here. Actually, we have two transmissivity in this formulation, but obviously it is uh, obviously um, uh, we can have a slightly different formulation around in papers. We use the one by Xavier, Javier Coripio in his uh, PhD thesis. And uh, here we have uh, the transmittances that we uh, considered before, plus also a correction due to elevation of the site. Because so far we, uh, we talk about uh, 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 latitude and longitude, if you want. But uh, we say the heart is perfect sphere. The heart is a perfect sphere, not the heart. <laughs> and uh, and uh, and uh, a, 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 but there are some mountains. But actually, we are on the mountains, and when, and when, when we go, you go up, the absorption is uh, different because we are a different thickness of the atmosphere above above us. Actually, we have also different thick 
thickness of the atmosphere from from uh, the equator to poles. So we also should correct also for less the, the thing. Actually, there is this psi uh, one uh, correction that we use because uh, depending on what we are thinking about uh, for solar radiation, we don't consider the whole spectrum or of radiation, but just one part of the spe spectrum. For instance, uh, we could consider the photosynthetic uh, uh, active radiation, which is just the part that the, uh, the plants react to. Uh, we don't enter into the, into the detail of how to determine tau s and, uh, and this one, but this one we will see in the exercise because for that we are using some parameterization. People start to measure and make their own idea, their own formula of uh, how to determine these things and we will see later on a table. And they are for us very empirical. There is not real uh, real uh, dynamical insight on the dynamics of, of, of radiation going on. 